Hello everyone, this is Josh, aka The Biscuit Eater, and I wanted to thank you all for joining me on a new playthrough on my channel. Finishing up with my last playthrough of Paranoia Happiness is Mandatory, I wanted to introduce you to an older game that I have been really much a fan of. They came out a couple years ago, and this came out in episodic form, which made for an interesting experience because you could not play the whole game in one sitting. Now, I won't go too deep into the mythology and the lore of this particular game, but essentially you play as a employee of a company that does essentially observance of people. I will let the game tell you more later on. This is another observe and react sort of game, which tends to be my favorite. So it isn't an action oriented, it is storytelling over action. So we're going to go ahead and get straight into it in just a moment. But before we do, let's cue the intro. All I need is me, myself, and I. Alright, so as I mentioned, this is an episodic game, so the way I'm going to go ahead and run this is each episode is going to be a single day or a single episode, as it were, of play. There aren't that many, so it'll be rather short, but there has been a sequel to Orwell, so I do believe I'll be able to go ahead and just go straight into that following this. But before we do, let's go ahead and create our new profile, our new employee, as it were. Congratulations, you've been selected for the Orwell test phase. Please create a profile. Enter your name. So we are going to be the Biscuit Eater. Let's see if it lets me do that. And let's choose a profile image. We're going to be male. Let's see. Um, yeah. I'll use the same one as before. Next step. Did you know you are one out of... Let's see, that's 21 million, 23... Oh, nope, I cannot read. Okay, that's... I'll let you guys read that. Let's see. 2 trillion, 102... Or 2 billion, 102 million, 333,546 accepted applicants. You may now enter your email address. Ah, well... That's it. You guys can now see my quote-unquote business email address. That's okay. And we got to agree to terms. I am aware that my actions may severely impact the lives of citizens of the nation. I will work thoroughly and judge objectively in the best of my belief. While working, I will adhere to the laws and jurisdiction of the nation. I agree to the terms stated above. And I'm just seeing if I actually got an email for that. Doesn't look like it. At least not yet. We'll see though. Let's go ahead and finish. Setting up profile. Thank you for ensuring the safety of the nation's people. Your registration is now complete. Logging in. Freedom Plaza, April 12th, 2017, 74842. As you can see, it's kind of a stylized sort of art style here. Just kind of giving you an idea of the police state of the nation. Police record found.
And here's the action that starts our story. Episode 1, the clocks were striking 13. You're online. Good. Call me Symes. I will be your advisor on Orwell. Together we will form both the first and the last line of defense against terrorism. For this test phase, you are one of the first people to try out the Orwell system under real circumstances, selected from thousands of applicants from across the globe. Normally, congratulations would be in order, but as you can see from that footage, there has been an incident. So let's get started. I have activated the reader tool for you. Its purpose is storing bookmarks to online websites and documents for easy access, and to highlight when there's new information to be investigated. First, I want you to be informed of the situation. Our leading newspaper, The National Beholder, will bring you up to speed. So we click on the reader. We go to headlines, because we have something new here. And it's loading. The leading newspaper of the nation, fast, precise, honest. Feel free to browse the National Beholder. I've activated the profiler. Open the unknown person file once you're done. Bomb obliterates Freedom Memorial and kills three. Singular, so they're, okay, so the ads are not clickable. Boston, explosion destroys the Freedom Memorial in Bo Bonton, Bonton, not Boston, Bonton. Three people killed, five severely injured. Authorities receive strange letter. Detonation destroy. Okay, detonation destroys the Freedom Memorial in Bonton. Three people killed, five severely injured. Terrorist ambition suspected as a mysterious letter reaches authorities. The explosion obliterated the Freedom Memorial in Bonton, leaving nothing but rubble behind. Photo, un unpublished or uh, yeah, unpublished. I guess I'm not sure. Bonton at approximately 7:50 p.m. on Wednesday evening, an explosive device detonated at the Freedom Plaza in Bonton. According to official police records, three people were killed, and at least five bystanders were severely wounded. The Freedom Memorial was nearly completely destroyed. Police forces closed off the area immediately. Experts believe the attack was an act of terror, with police confirming that the explosive device was homemade and triggered from a short distance away using a cell phone signal. Police reports also confirm that several hours earlier, an anonymous letter containing the first three stanzas of the German folk song Die Gede Gedanken sind frei. I'm sorry if I'm messing that up, German viewers. The thoughts are free. Had reached local authorities. Prime Minister Blaine immediately issued a public press statement firmly condemning the assault and put the nation on high alert until the perpetrators have been brought to justice. Now, there are other news articles that we'll want to read as well, even though they may not be directly or connected. But in this game, you leave no stone unturned. Negotiations and trifleth failed. Pargesian president aborts negotiations with opposition. Violent riot riots in trifleth. Blaine encourages renewal. Peace negotiations in the riot-ridden Pargesian capital city, Trifleth, have been aborted, without any result last night. Independent sources report that President Cassart abruptly cut off communication with opposition representatives as the latter presented a tangible plan for the organization of re-elections. The news about the premature cancellation of the negotiations caused thousands of people to resume demonstrations in the capital. It has been reported that demonstrators wearing hoods threw incendiary material into shop windows and onto cars. The police struggled to keep the situation under control. Prime Minister Blaine stated his worries about the negative developments regarding the political situation of the neighboring country, and has requested both sides to resume diplomatic discussions. And we have movie shooting completed. A Hundred Gray Shadows, Valentine's Day 2018, written and directed by Sumishi Iran, Rhubarb Productions. Third saga to hit movie theaters in Gray sh shooting of Grey Shadows, saga lasting four years finalized. Third part of the saga to hit movie theaters next Valentine's Day. An updated version of the official poster was posted by the director. Okay. Hillberry. After a lengthy shoot in the hills of Bonton, 
self-proclaimed visionary director Sumishi Aran announced that filming that filming of his eagerly awaited romantic drama A Hundred Korea Shadows has finally come to an end. Announced via his timelines profile yesterday, the brash director said that he was eager to begin post-production in the final editing stages before the conclusion of the Grey Shadows series would hit cinemas on Valentine's Day next year. The third and final chapter in the Grey Shadows saga, previous releases being a Grey Shadow and another Grey Shadow, was announced to be released almost four years ago, but was postponed numerous times due to production problems. Fans have speculated that this was largely due to the breakdown of Hollywood power couple Betty Avon and Mike McDeal, who have long-lasting quarrels during the filming as a result. One production hand was reported to say that these spats were getting out of control, and that completion of any scene featuring both actors was nothing short of pulling teeth. When we reached out to Rubar Productions to get a comment, they declined the rumors and claimed them to be mere speculation. All right, so we have finished checking the website. And there's headlines. All right, so everything we've read will now show here. And if there are any new ones, we'll see the star again. I should mention, by the way, and I think I mentioned it before, just to make sure, I will be doing each day as its own episode so that we will keep on with the feeling of this particular game. So let's check our unknown person. Don't know their date of birth? Okay. Here we go. So the profiler holds all known information on the those we investigate. The file you have opened is for our main suspect. The blue-haired woman that the CCTV footage shows before the assault is no stranger to the police. Take a look at the arrest record. This is for Cassandra Watergate. A arrest record. The highlighted elements in the record are pieces of data that are able to be extracted. We call these elements data chunks. Hovering over data chunks will reveal their relevance to the case and any connections or information it may influence. Drag and drop all data chunks from the police database into a profile to upload them to our servers. So. Grab her photo. Very good. Pictures and names are crucial information for Orwell to identify a person. Information and documents can only become a data chunk when it can clearly be assigned to a target person. Add the reason for Miss Watergate's prior arrest that has just been unlocked. We will need this info to progress. So, assault on a police officer. We'll drag that over. Ah, we found... Good! With the data you extracted from the police record, a new document can now be accessed. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you believe in coincidence? I do not. Find data revealing where she attacked the police officer, and you will see what I mean. So, let's go ahead, though, first, and just double-check what else it says here. So, her arrest date was July 10th, 2016, currently April 13th, 2017, so about a year ago. Arresting officer is Duncan Lloyd. Holding facility bought in the Central PD. Suspect was arrested on site after Officer Franklin had been struck by an unknown object and became unresponsive. The protesters at the origin of the assault were forcibly moved, where the suspect was found kneeling and weeping on the ground. When asked to lay on the ground with her hands behind her back, the suspect cooperated immediately. <coughs> Pardon me. Alright, so let's go back to home. Is this woman a terrorist? We now have a new article. Woman allegedly injured a police officer two weeks ago. Remains in custody. Trial scheduled for odd August. Cassandra W., a simple protester or anti-governmental terrorist? Question mark. The case that keeps the media and the public guessing. Cassandra W., pictured above, who has allegedly in had allegedly injured a police officer severely two weeks ago, is still being held in police custody. The young woman is accused of having hit the victim's head with a large brick. The incident occurred during a rampage at the Freedom Plaza as part of demonstration. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and drag it over here. Against the newest amendments to the government mo model project, the safety bill. The same exact, or the ex exact same location as the assault. Then she turns up there right before the explosion? Surely not a coincidence. As you know, Miss Watergate is still running around freely. We should find out why. We should also gather more background information on her. 
I want to know who we're really dealing with. Protests at the Freedom Plaza turned violent two weeks ago. Due to, due to the chaotic nature of the scene, police have not yet been able to connect the crime to the accused. Cassandra W., who is an artist by profession, has denied the accusations completely and has asked her fans to show their support. A trial has now been scheduled for mid-August. The case received nationwide attention when Catherine Delacroix, Secretary of Security, labeled the alleged perpetrator, along with other writers, as anti-governmental terrorists. So this is more background information on her. She's an artist. So we want to grab that. Oh, yes. One who does street art by blowing memorials to pieces, pieces by chance. Great. You have found another document. Before we go on, let's clarify your job and how it affects mine, shall we? You have extracted all the info I already know about Miss Watergate. Starting now, I am going into this case blind. The Orwell Ethical Codex dictates that investigators like yourself are the only ones allowed to access the documents of target persons. Advisors like me only get to see the data provided by the investigators. We will then draw conclusions and request action. Your primary job is to provide information you deem important. Never give away incorrect or misleading data. You may hit disable on a data chunk you do not want to pass on to Orwell. However, some data chunks might be necessary to progress the case. All right, let's see what else they have for us. So portfolio. We know that she's an artist, so now we're going to her portfolio. Harboring outstanding art. Painters. Artist port. Welcome to the port of Cassandra Watergate. We have a new picture, so we'll go ahead and grab that. Hi, I'm Cassie, a colorful inhabitant of Wonderland right behind the rainbow. That's not... I don't think that's very useful information. So we're going to go ahead and disable it. Because it's just... It's false information. It's just... It's her being artistic. Glad you found me. Finally found the courage to quit my day, dull day job, focus on my art career, and put my stuff on portfolio. That may be... Quit previous job to focus on art career. That may be, interest, be useful information, so we'll grab it. Hmm. Interesting. We should find out what that job was. Below, you will find a hand-picked selection of my latest works. You can browse through them by clicking on the arrows on the left and right side of the pictures below. See something you like? Why, of course you do, because it's freaking awesome, isn't it? Leave me a message on my Utel account, the Cassie 92 and tell me which piece you'd like. That's also important information, so we'll go ahead and grab her messenger info. Good, you found a chat handle. That will allow us to overhear any conversation on that account. This is where we get Orwellian. Remember, this Orwell, the name was not chosen on accident. The listener has now been unlocked. New conversations will appear whenever they are started. I'm going to make a fine art print and ship it right away to your doorstep. Best thing? Free of charge. Now off you go and have fun. So let's see, cat picture. My beloved furball Kik Kiko, Kikiko. Definitely the only family I need. Interesting. Yep, that beat is me. I was never sure about the title though. The Businessman's Forgotten Daughter. Or Victim of tr Traditionalism in Pink. What do you think? I'm gonna grab that data. Okay. And we have a message popping up. Let's go ahead and really quick. A Christmas present for my darling. This was actually meant to be a private piece, but oh well, I have a hard time keeping it to myself. Let's grab that data. Maybe useful. Okay, let's listen. April 13th, session unknown person. Hey, you. Hey, Jossie. I can't seem to find my credit card. I assume you took it, right? Uh, you got me, Sherlock. I'm in the middle of buying all of Bonton with that platinum card I lifted from your desk. 
can't stop me now. Well, luckily for you, I don't mind you going on a splurge, as long as you pick up some wine for dinner. Wine? What does Joseph Langley, my fearless attorney and, and all-round bad arse, have in mind this time? Probs just a business call from one of his favorite clients. Actually, yes, that's exactly what's going to happen. Very se serious business, Cassandra. I thought as much. Guess I better pick up S loads of wine. You'll have to get that client of yours pretty buzzed to handle all that business. One bottle should be fine. She's a lightweight. They're clearly this is clearly who she's in a relationship with. Oh whatever. I get guess I shouldn't pick up some of the party pills from Big Pharma, aka my parents then. Oh come on, I was only teasing. Speaking of your parents, when are you gonna tell them about us? Uh yeah, maybe maybe gotta go now text you later xoxo okay so we got a couple pieces of information we can hit we can we can share stole a credit card from unknown person technically i could drag that over but that could cause issues and especially since he seems to not mind and it seems to be okay with it so she's being facetious so if we were to drag that over that would actually provide negative information that wouldn't be helpful however we know that she's in a relationship with this person She's, he's her lawyer, and he might be her lover. So let's grab that. You have now you now have a profile for a related person. It can be accessed via the profiler. Data chunks will only appear for targeted persons and can only be extracted into the relevant profiles. So we have that, and how do we go back? Her, we know her parents are in Big Pharma. Watergate Pharma Entrepreneurs, that does ring a bell. We also know that she's in a relationship with Joseph Langley. I'm wondering, let's see here. Can I... Okay, so we're not going to report the credit card th theft because, well, it's clearly not actually a theft. So let's go back to the reader. Procedure closing raises manipulation suspicions. Investigation into the malicious injury of a police officer has been dropped due to lack of evidence. Speculated that the accused parents manipulated the, tr the, the trial. The suspect's lawyer, criminal attorney Joseph Langley, or will inform you that you encountered, in you, you encountered conflicted data chunks. Whenever the content of two data chunks are at odds with one another, those will be shown as conflicted. When you extract one of the data chunks containing a conflict, the others will become invalid immediately. I'd highly recommend you clarify the context of the conflict before you proceed, though this is your decision. Once the information has been parsed, there is no way to reverse your choice. So in other words, if you choose the wrong piece of information, that could cause issue. But this is Langley. Why can't I? I want to grab his photo, but okay. The case that has been at the center of media attention for the last month has finally come to an end. Cassandra W. was acquitted of the alleged assault against a police officer before the trial took place, with the case being closed due to lack of evidence yesterday. Okay, so the suspect lawyer, Joseph Langley, pictured above, welcomed this outcome. At no point has there ever been any valid evidence that my client was quality was guilty. At no point at all. The revered defense attorney commented during a post-trial press gathering. The defense successfully brought video evidence depicting the incident in question, which eventually turned the tide of the proceedings. Meanwhile, the relatives of the victim expressed their disappointment on hearing the result of the lawsuit. They openly voiced their concerns that the wealthy family of the accused might have influenced the outcome of her behavior. So let's show the conflict. So, we need to decide which we think 
is more likely. He de- it does say they they defense successfully brought video evidence de- depicting the incident in question, which eventually turned the tide of the proceedings. So he showed that there was no evidence. So we're going to go ahead and choose that as the information. That, this is what I figured. A pity that the CCTV feed did not actually help. Maybe it will today. Well, let's look into their family, her family. Watergate Pharmaceuticals. Products. Watergate Pharmaceuticals enriches lives with our industry-leading range of products, making an important contribution to your well-being. Mood elevating medication. Methorin Blue. Handle with care, keep away from children. New lemon taste. Below you will find a small selection of our most popular products. Ahexyl, Ahexyl, I can't even say that, Forte. Cough drops that fight against irritation of the throat based on natural herbs. Compensum, activating pills against migraines and strong headaches. Focusin, medication that increases concentration and cerebral performance. Foriol Active, medication for the alleviation of arthritic joint pain. Methorin, antidepressant to help stabilize your emotions. Spiron, all-round painkiller that dissolves in water. Zamorolin Night, soothing pills for a good night's rest against occasional sleeping problems and for acute application when suffering from insomnia. Company. The name Watergate has been inseparable from progression and improvement of pharmaceutical research for more than 80 years. Watergate Pharmaceuticals is one of the nation's leading companies in the area of medicine and at the same time is a target medication exporter to all areas of the world. The business Watergate Pharmaceuticals Inc. has been in the hands of the Watergate family, owning and managing the firm ever since its foundation in 1931. Bruno Watergate, Chief Executive Officer. The CEO of Watergate Pharmaceuticals is Bruno Watergate, grandson of our founder, Edgar Watergate. Apart from working in the family business, Mr. Watergate is also the founder of the Central Pharmacy Congress and head of the charity foundation, Children of Pargas. Dr. Alice Watergate, Head of Research and Development. Dr. Alice Watergate, co-partner of the firm with her husband, Bruno, holds a PhD in biology and chemistry. She leads the research and development of laboratories here at Watergate Pharmaceuticals. Cassandra Watergate, Junior COO. Carrying the family tradition to the next generation, Alice's and Bruno's daughter, Cassandra, will soon be joining the executive ranks. Her business acumen and unique flair will write the next chapter of her 85-year strong legacy. Note the hair difference there. Interesting. So we'll drag that over. Is that actually the same person? Appointed to be the COO of a pharmaceutical company, probably by one of her parents. Being an artist and a junior COO seems quite odd. She also mentioned she had quite a, had quit a dull job, didn't she? Documents that you have already reviewed may be updated from time to time as events unfold. The reader will notify you when that happens. The National Beholder just published a new article. You may want to take a look and see if there's any new information available. But let's go ahead and also drag that over so we have those contacts. Ah, now I see. Keeping it a family affair. So we now have Bruno Bruno Watergate and Cassandra Watergate. Let's see. Still can't grab their data. I guess it's not important technically yet to the investigation. But let's go ahead and check the jobs. Watergate Pharmaceuticals is currently looking for, for suitable candidates for the following positions. Please address all applications to Josephine Marquardt, head of HR at jobs at watergate pharma.tna. Chief Operating Officer, COO. We're urgently looking for a chief operating officer to replace a retired, formerly appointed predecessor. So that's important information about her. Or maybe I was wrong and nothing stays in the family. Ouch. This is probably what she meant by quitting her job. Good. 
currently I am thinking that our Miss Watergate underwent a quite a radical change, don't you agree? Let's find out what happened in between those two lives of hers. What may have caused this radical shift? So what we expect, many years of work experience in a leading management position, preferably in the pharmaceutical industry. Deep knowledge of the pharmacy market. Master's degree in business economics or similar. Language prof proficiency in English, French, and Chinese desirable. A traditionally oriented character with a mindset that's nevertheless open for new challenges. A competitive and motivated spirit. We offer an ambitious and challenging role with high responsibilities at one of the most renowned pharmaceutical companies in the country. A safe job in one of the most stable and promising industries. A competitive salary. A dynamic team with a friendly and cooperative atmosphere. Research internship. As a research intern, you will be in scientific a, a scientific research team for three to six months and support it with your assistance. I know this may not be important, but I'm going to go ahead and go, read all these out because I think they are fun, if nothing else. Anyway, so we expect undergraduate studies or postgraduate of biology, chemistry, biochemistry, or similar fields. Reliability and team spirit. We offer an interesting insight in an exciting, fast-moving industry. A dynamic team with a friendly and cooperative atmosphere. If you cannot find any position that matches your qualifications, we are still happy to receive your application. We will then keep your CV in our candidate database in order to contact you as soon as matching vacancy or reopens. That finishes that website. So, okay, let's check out new, we got new headlines. Crime rate continues to drop. The Ministry of Security has presented latest numbers on crime statistics in the country. Never before have there been so few violent crimes. Delacroix gave a press conference earlier this morning. On Thursday morning, the Ministry of Security published the new crime statistic report for the preceding year. According to the report, the number of recorded criminal offenses decreased by 4.8% in comparison to last year. The crime rates have been continuously declining over the past several years as a direct result of the implementation of the safety bill. Secretary of Security Catherine Delacroix appeared very pleased by these numbers and declared the development an outstanding result of successful safety policy. When confronted with the recent assault in Bonton, she once again admitted the ambitious goals of the government have not yet been accomplished. She further mentioned that activities are currently being established which will have a considerable impact preventing further in in incidents. I can talk, honestly. Army of the nation, we want you to serve the nation. Bomb obliterates freedom, memorial kills three. We've read that. Negotiation of Drift fails. Okay, so we're good there. And my apologies for the hiccup. Okay, I already went there. Why are you still showing us? Okay, there we go. Am I missing something? Oh, safety bill. Our principles put into action. The safety bill. This is crimes per 1,000 or 100,000 population. From 2005 to 2016, rising crime, rising crime, safety bill passed, no one was already going down, the party electing the government, going down, 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 down. Okay. The safety bill is a collection of safety-centered laws and statutes created with the ultimate goal to protect the freedom of the nation's citizens. Central to the safety bill is a simplified, sped-up process of taking investigative measures against criminal suspects and their prosecution, as well as the provision of an increased budget for safety-related expenses. The safety bill also paved the way for stricter regulations concerning the immigration and general travel into or transiting, transiting <laughs> through the nation. It also became mandatory to inform employers whether an applicant or employee is an ex-convict or otherwise regarded potentially dangerous. Since the safety bill has come into effect in 2011, the total numbers of acts of crime and terrorism committed have been decreasing continuously, and the trend is ongoing to date. The part is keep piecing, peacekeeping mission. The terrorist incident of 2008 was a terrible consequence of the premature retreat of our troops from Pargas, a region torn by civil unrest for years by the order of the previous government. To fix our predecessors' mistakes, the party, when elected in, 20, uh, in 2009, immediately made preparations to send our highly reliable soldiers back in, to safeguard the region for the good of the inhabitants of both countries alike. After the party's peacekeeping mission had been signed in 2011, our troops were sent off to the neighboring country to perform tasks including the distribution of aid packages containing food in addition to health and hygiene products to the mostly impoverished population, the rebuilding of infrastructure, particularly hospitals and schools, upholding the law and public order alongside removal of war relics such as anti-personnel mines or unexploded bombshells, training local police and military forces. Due to a recent stabilization in the Parges, we have been able to reduce the number of stationed forces while leaving the overall goals of the peacekeeping mission intact. 
So I guess I should warn. There is a little bit of politicizing in here, and some may not appreciate the use of the propaganda that's being used in the game. Uh, but again, I would presume with the name Orwell, you'd understand that that would be part of the process here. So, projects. So there was another link in here that I missed, apparently. Oh, positions are five pillars for a great nation. Safety and security. We firmly believe in strict safety regulations and mechanisms to preserve the life and well-being of every individual. Economy and commerce. A strong economy equals a strong society. This is why we strive for constant, healthy growth. Values and tradition. Our cultural origins, as well as the significance of family and communal life, must be cherished. Migration and foreign affairs. Gating immigration from and intervening in foreign countries are necessities to uphold law and order in our own. Education and health. Rock solid education and healthcare systems are the foundations of a great future. People. Leaders of the nation. Robert Blaine, Prime Minister. Prime Minister Blaine, as much remarkable visionary as unmatched leader, is a member of the party in the fourth generation. When the surprising death of the previous leader of the party, Mrs. Goddard, left behind a power vacuum, it was the young Robert Blaine who stepped up and was elected as a new head unanimously. Just as in this exemplary case, Mr. Blaine will take initiative whenever possible and is sure not to relent until the party's ambitious goals have been achieved. Arthur Scott Gallagher, Secretary of Economy and Trade. Mr. Gallagher, one of the most seasoned members of the party, is in charge of the Ministry of Economy and Trade. As such, he is directly responsible for reduced tax levels for big and medium-sized corporations, as well as the resulting decline of the unemployment rate. Catherine Delacroix, Secretary of Security. The Ministry of Security, dedicated to the purpose of improving the nation's safety on the interior, was formed directly after the elections in 2009, just as originally proposed by Catherine Delacroix. Miss Delacroix was subsequently granted the position of the first Secretary of Security. She is best known for the inception of the safety bill, elevating security standards in the country to a new level. Peter Faulkner, Secretary of Defense. The Commander-in-Chief of the nation's forces does not tire to stress the importance of stability in the nation's neighboring countries. To that end, Mr. Faulkner created the Pardis Peacekeeping Mission, which played a key role in the prevention of terrorist activity occurring on the nation's soul. soil. We've already been that. Projects. We're on that. Participate. Become a part of the party. There are many ways in which you can contribute to the nation's success. Becoming involved with the party is a huge one. If you are willing to give all, your all for a brighter future of the nation and consequently all of the world, join us. Find out how. Donate. The party is always grateful for donations of any amount. Your gift will directly help the party to continue its course to build a stable, safe, and positively conservative nation. Volunteer. Support a local group of volunteers to get in touch with the nation's leaders and champion the topics that matter the most to you and your family. Become a member. Being a member of the party is a life-altering calling as you will re represent the party in political matters on a communal or national level. Get in touch and apply to us. Join the Army of the Nation. The party is a big promoter of direct service to the homeland. If you think you have it in you to defend the freedom of the nation and foreign countries and help stabilize them, get enlisted now. There we go. Next, let's check out Cassandra's timeline. Status, you're invited to tea inside the rabbit hole. All right, so we have another portrait. Well, we have her date of birth, September 13th, 1992. Place of residence, not applicable. Interests, art, music, activism. Art, music, activism. What a lineup. Cassandra likes the targets. Painting, Alice in Wonderland. She, no. My cat, Kikiko. Cassandra Watergate posted on March 1st, 2017 at 11.01 a.m. Woohoo! First day in freedom, far away from the shackles of Watergate Pharma. 12 likes, 2 comments. Jake Clefton. What? Who's going to pay for your stuff now? Mommy and Daddy won't like this. Listen, Jake, I'm not Daddy's little girl anymore. My art already got me a lot of money, more than enough to pay any of my, all my bills. Don't you worry about me. 
Despised puppets of the state, you have finally managed to destroy us entirely. There is nothing left but to congratulate you. These are my personal wishes to you from the deepest abyss of my heart. F all of you government lackeys. Most painfully, Cassandra. I think that's important to uh, note. She dislikes the government quite a bit. Well, well, Miss Watergate, we aren't too fond of you either. Sweetie, what's the matter? That totally sounds like doesn't sound like you. We haven't hung out for ages. You got to get out from time to time. You'd feel much better. Mary, just shut your effing mouth, okay? I'm not in the mood for your stupid act. I told you again and again I cannot deal with this right now. Oh, you okay, you know what? I'm really sorry that I still care about my best friend no matter how often she decides to give me the cold shoulder. But in that case, that, that's in the past now. Let's go ahead and... Oh, this is conflicting data chunk. So it conflicts with that unknown data chunk, so we'll have to come back to it. Cassandra Watergate changed the status. Cassandra is in a relationship with Joseph Langley, not a member. We'll grab that. With her lawyer. Hmm, might be noteworthy. Cassandra Watergate posted on August 10th, 2016. The Beholder actually wrote about me being freaking redeemed of this S. But surprise, surprise, they had to mention the speculations from my parents buying me out. Makes the click counts go boom. Doesn't it? Okay, that takes us to that, so we'll go back. At least you're redeemed now. Want to blow off steam together with a little late night shopping tour? At Mary, not today. I have a date this evening. Ooh, who's the lucky one? Case closed. Congratulations, never had any doubts about it. Kiddo, you're my heroine, in both the heroic and the drug way. A thousand cams in the plaza, but no proof. We've shown the world this dirty surveillance machinery that only exists to intimidate and to mislead the people into believing false promises. Cams for safety, one big lie. Wow, I'm so happy for you. I knew everything would be okay in the end. Shall we have an awesome Cassandra Freedom party on Friday? Thank you guys, I am so happy. I'm sure you heard the load fall off my mind. Harrison, yeah, I will totally write an article in our blog. Juliet, of course, I'm so in change your profile picture that concert was amazing so amazing that i had to give my hair a little makeover so without further ado how do you like it omg what happened to your beautiful hair why didn't you ask me before going to the stylist we could have gone together uh cassie's going punk did mommy and daddy agree with that looks nice that's a whole new you you also need a new name then what about catharsis because because cass arthas that's clever me likely lucky so henceforth cassandra shall be known to the world as catharsis Go ahead and grab that's a possible alias. An alias name. You know people on the web. So many names, so many identities. It's always good to record every alias. Then we can match data chunks to target persons whenever they are using them. That's the spirit, kiddo. Now I'd like to invite you to our little activist group. If you want to join us, it would be nice to have you with us for the protests in the Freedom Plaza on Friday. activist group. Is there anything more specific? Oh, we've got a listener, So, but we'll go ahead and finish this. Just discovered this hot new band, The Targets. Man, do they rock hard. They're playing a concert in the cell next week. Who's coming ne along? Mary, I'm looking at you. Uh, punks, not really my style. Sorry, Cass. Can't we just go see Cherry Cheeks sometime? They're not just some punks. Their leader is a real cutie, and they have this cool guitarist girl. Plus, they've got a message. What's not to like? No, sorry, it's not for me. Bah, already. You're the one missing out. I'll have them all for, for myself, then. Ooh la la! Have an amazing shop shopping tour with my, my my Mary, the best friend of all times. So they're not so, but you really should consider paying a visit to your hairstylist soon, da darling. Let's show the conflict. Broken friendship. We we're definitely going to go ahead and mark that. How sad. Not all data points are, are important, but that may be important later on. Especially if we need to track Mary Bly. Well, that's what happens when you do my hair. <laughs> Alright, so, let's go ahead and go to listener. Okay, how do I go back? Oh, there you go. More with Joseph Langley. 
Hey, did you hear about the Freedom Plaza, Plaza bombing? Yeah, don't remind me. You know how I have a history at that place. Already effing me up enough to have a, to catch a bus from there every day. Too many bad memories. And now I was there just moments before this happened. Ugh, I should never have gone to that darn protest. Darling, you don't need to justify yourself to anybody, especially not to me. I was so happy when Goldfells accepted me in, into th thought. I desperately wanted to go to prove my worth to the cause. Think of it this way. If you would not have gone into the prote gone to the protest, then you would never would have been wrongfully indicted, and then we would never would have met. Yeah, and I would not have been, been called a terrorist in the papers. You're not a terrorist, okay? Ain't I? You sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Ka-ching! Was that supposed to be my credit card in a cash register? Something like that, I guess. I hope you like, uh, Chateau Margot. Great. So you decided to bankrupt me. Yes, sir. Already pull out the money, the money out of innocent pockets. Anyway, I got the good stuff. Now I'm headed to my handsome boyfriend, Joseph, for dinner. Uh... Here's the thing, I got an important appointment tonight. It's surprisingly out of schedule on a campus one. You've got to be kidding me. I'm very sorry, darling. We'll see each other tomorrow. You always have an appointment. Appointment here, appointment there, appointment every effing where. How can you constantly do this to me? Darling, please just calm down. Have you taken your methorin? Yes, darn it. Is it the only thing that matters to you? That I'm on effing happy pills all day? Darling, please. It's nothing like that. You know it. So I keep my mouth shut whenever you leave me hanging. If I don't show up at this appointment, I risk losing a very important client. Fine. Don't you understand that? Oh, no. I totally understand. Don't you risk losing that very important client of yours now? Cassie, don't be like that. I get it. I guess I'm not... I'm just not an important client anymore. Oh, come on, Cassie. Going home now in case I'm getting up on that priority list of yours anytime soon. Please. Closed. All right. So we got some important information. The fact that she's taking methorin. What's this methorin? Can you look that up for me, please? An activist group called Thought. Interesting. Maybe this is what influenced her. And who is Goldfells? We should find something that shows her current attitude and see if we're following the right person. Meaning her presence there before the bombing could be coincidence after all. I'll reserve my thoughts until you find more evidence. Okay, so we got everything from this. Excuse me. Thought I had disabled that. Okay. Okay, so nothing more there. So let's go back to website. Go back to products. She might be emotionally unstable if she's reliant on this medication. Looking at what you've extracted so far, we're dealing with a potentially dangerous personality. 
I will indicate that to law enforcement. The thoughts are free. If liberty means anything at all, it means the right to tell people what they do not want to hear. George Orwell. The thought. Overview. Welcome to the thought blog. Pick an entry below. Freedom is unfree. Okay. It's cams. Cams everywhere, even at the Freedom Plaza. Is it just me or is that more than just a little bit, I don't know, ironic? You probably know all, all know me as by either that blue-haired punk B or a stupid C or anti-governmental terrorist. These are only some of the names I've been called during the criminal investigation against me. That was what that was just because in the middle of the chaos someone believed to have seen me hurt a police officer. It never even occurred to anybody that it wasn't me. We were there because we wanted a peaceful protest. We have always been against violence. One would assume that in an age where there are cams everywhere, it should be easy to prove whether I was at all involved, but it wasn't. It took weeks of investigative custody to figure out that the cam footage was actually not clearly showing anything at all. Which raises the question, why are there so many cams in the first place? The answer is intimidation only. You keep calm, quiet, and careful when there are cameras around. Or you fear that there are cameras where you cannot see. When founding this blog years ago, Abraham predicted pretty much this for all the web. And now it's in our real lives too. We have been brought to Freedom Memorial since we were kids at school. We were told lavish tales about the founders of the nation, told to show national pride. And I know what you're thinking now. This thing is so darn ugly. What is that donut even? Let freedom ring? But the statement behind this ridiculously, ridiculously enormous heap of stones should be clear. In the middle of the capital, there is a symbol of freedom, comprehensible symbolism for everyone. Isn't it? With the cameras there, this is now the plaza of unfreedom, if anything at all. No comments. So let's check out her, her profile. Account Catharsis. Articles 1. We already have her Utel. Okay. Let's check her link. Our Thoughts Still Free, published in March by 2012 by Goldfells. I propose to consider the question, are our thoughts still free? While this might seem to be a surprising question, in our current world of ever-growing digital surveillance, freedom of thought is no longer self-evident. Dear reader, there's a German folk song called The Thoughts Are Free. It goes like this. Thoughts are free, who can guess them? They fly like they fly by like nocturnal shadows. No man can know them, no hunter can shoot them. With powder and lead, thoughts are free. I think what I want and what delights me, still always reticent, and as it is suitable, my wish and desire no one can deny me. And so it will always be, thoughts are free. And if I am thrown into the darkest dungeon, all these are futile works. Because my thoughts tear all gates and walls apart, thoughts are free. When I was young, long before I immigrated to the nation in 1993, I believed this to be a universal truth, that there are no borders for thoughts and no rules for what is, or is not allowed to be thought. This was not because I thought people should be tolerant, not at all. Instead, I simply held it dear that nobody except for ourselves really knows what is going on in our heads until we choose to reveal it. Yesterday, a question crossed my mind. If the increasing interconnectedness of humans via modern technology serves more and more as a collective memory and brain of our society, and there is an institution that is capable of monitoring every bitstream of it, how can thought still be free? It is not likely that we will communicate only under great mental reservation, or is it not? likely that we will communicate under only under great mental reservation to hold on to our knowledge which means as a final consequence that we stop thinking when i think about the increasingly aggressive operations of the surveillance machinery in the nation i truly fear the answer to this question that is why i created this blog i want to encourage alternatives to the total control and safety bigotry of this digital world yours sincerely a goldfells guest written on march 30th 2012 Hey, Goldfells, interesting name, by the way. Just stumbled upon your new blog, and that's some truth you tell there. The web was born in the sense of the ultimate freedom to be who you want to be. Express yourself, wasn't it? Now the gov has come to threaten this with the real name policies and us. Save your IP so they can look up who you are so you don't say anything wrong, possibly, about times someone did something. Well, if you didn't have one before, you just gave yourself a, your first follower. Frankly, I'm surprised to find someone here at all. I thought nobody would ever find this blog at all. Thank you very much for your kind words. And yes, I am very delighted to have a first follower. Hello, admin. I like your things too. Could you one but now? Uh, could you one but now even more to get a service on search engine optimization independent 
Others get clicks and more money for you now. New use. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so spam. I love it. All right. Oh, that's right. I wanted to actually check out his profile. So it does not give much information. Okay. There are additional ones we can read. Thought must change direction. This article is private. Due to privacy settings in this blog, archived articles are only available from direct links, not from the front page. Sorry. So we're not going to be able to view those currently. Let's go to Cassandra's timeline. Looks like there's been a new entry. Cassandra Watergate posted this on April 13th, 2017. Ha, finally someone who had the grit and explosives to show how futile surveillance is. Mm. There are thousands of cameras pointed to, to a target and the big bang still happens. I haven't laughed like this for ages. What now, Miss Delacroix? What now? Really, Cassie? You laugh like people being killed? Are you out of your mind? Interesting. Okay, not sure where else I can go from here, so let's and go back to Cassandra. So there is still, so there is, is this, so we have con conflicting data chunks. Okay, let's see if anything else has been highlighted. Okay. So this is what's interesting. So she says that she has an adverse, she, she wanted peace, but the other one says that she, so she wasn't advocating the violence, she was advocating the destruction. I'm going to say that they're against violence. Huh, if you think that is her actual attitude, we might be barking up the wrong tree after all. Alright, what we found so far is all good and interesting, but I think we should be searching for something a little more concrete. We have to dig deeper. Juliet Carrington. Hey, Cassie. Hi, Jules. Cassie, I just wanted to know. Your post on timelines about this assault. You really shouldn't write something like that. Really, Jules? You're not going to preach to me about this stupid post, are you? No. I just wanted to know what's wrong, Cassie. It's nothing. Just between the two of us. No, it isn't. I just had to let off steam, you know? It's because of what happened, isn't it? Yeah, and lots and lots of other S today. This bombing stirred up all this crap again. You know what I did. What happened there is it wasn't your fault. Cassie, you hurt that officer to save me. And you succeeded. You shouldn't you, you mustn't forget about that. That was so brave. How can how can it not have been my fault? Julia I smashed the freaking skull of a father of two children because I lost it. FFF who knows what would have happened if you hadn't stopped him? And this is why you really should remove that post. I feel like a blank hole. The worst kind of blank hole. I might be free, but not rightly so. I'm not innocent. Oh, Cassie, nobody's innocent. You have to let go. I'm going to grab that data. What? Where did that come from now? This is perfect. We can arrest her and open the investigation again. However, we probably won't be able to hold her for long if it really happened in defense of this Juliet. 
Very good work. The intervention team is already on its way. We'll need to wait for confirmation. In Miss Watergate's case, it was not a problem to get her address with the help of local police due to her former record. Julia Carrington. I thought about what you said. Maybe you're right. I should take the post down. It'd be better, believe me. Wait a second, someone is at the door. Be right back. Okay, I'll wait. By the way, how's your boyfriend? He's still together? You haven't been talking about him all that much lately. Well, not as much as before. Hello? Are you still there? Cassie? I'll inquire if it all went well with arresting Miss Watergate. You did a good job in any case. Although we have no proof she's involved in the bombing, we might be able to question her. Despite acting in defense of this Juliet, she seems to be quite unstable and a threat. Okay, I've just received confirmation that she is now in custody. Very good work indeed. I'm curious about this thought group, though. Whether they... Oh, God. No, no, no. Take a look at the news. Breaking news. Two dead after second explosion. An explosion at Stellingen University campus kills two students. Is there a connection to yesterday's assault? Explosive charge set off at Stellingen University in Bonton. At least two people dead, three injured. That is horrible. Two dead, similar approach, same letter found. So these assaults are connected. And as if that wasn't enough already, Miss Watergate was in custody at the time, so that's her out of the picture. At least for this attack. Ugh. This compl complicates matters massively, so much for our simple test case. I need to speak to my superiors, see how we are to proceed, given these extenuating circumstances. You did good today. You can log off and get some rest by clicking the button at the top right of the desktop. Try and get some sleep. I have a feeling the next few days are going to be trying at best. We'll finish reading, though. Half an hour ago, an explosion occurred at the campus of Bonton University. According to latest reports, at least two people were killed, with a further three injured severely. The area was evacuated immediately. According to yet unconfirmed statements, the city administration bon office of Bonton received an anonymous letter just minutes prior to the detonation, which again contained the first three stanzas of the German folk song, blah blah blah, the thoughts are free, exactly like the letter received before the assault on the Freedom Plaza yesterday. We will inform you about any developments on this event as soon as further details are available. Okay. We'll go ahead and leave. Are you sure you want to finish your work for today? All unprocessed data chunks will expire. Yes. Based on the data you submitted, we have learned the following. Assault on Freedom Plaza. A severe assault occurred at the Freedom Plaza yesterday. Cassandra Watergate was present there prior to the assault and is thus being investigated. Hints of the involvement of an activist group named Thought have been found. A second assault at Selling University occurred, seemingly connected to the first. This suggests Cassandra Watergate is either not the only perpetrator or not involved at all. Cassandra Watergate. She's been criminally charged with the injury of a police officer at a pa past protest in the Freedom Plaza. She is an artist. The former criminal case was closed due to lack of evidence. She is in a relationship with her lawyer, Joseph Langley. She seems to have undergone a radical change after she joined the activist group Thought. Collected data shows a potentially dangerous personality. More thorough investigation by law enforcement is suggested. Juliet Carrington claimed that Cassandra defended her by injuring the police officer. And an arrest has been made. Now, we could go to the next day, but like I mentioned during the uh, previous version of this when it first came out you could only play one day at a time because they were play releasing them one day at a time so as a result i'm going to go ahead and end this particular episode here as always if you like what you see please go ahead and be sure to drop a like or dislike on the video i don't care which be sure to subscribe if you want to see more and be sure to ring that notification bell to get notifications whenever i upload new videos to the channel 
And finally, be make sure, do make sure, rather, to leave a comment or constructive criticism in the comment section below. I do read them all. I do try to answer all the ones that I can. And I'd love to hear your thoughts and your, your take on this particular game and storyline. As always, though, I do hope that you're having as much fun as I am on this particular game. And until we see each other again, game on, lovelies.